Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, press the bell, hit the like, and leave a comment down below. I appreciate all of that, and I appreciate you taking the time to be here with us today. So a quick shout out to Lynn and Tanvi for contacting us regarding some updates that the reviewer wanted them to do. So basically what the reviewer wanted them to do is they wanted to apply the same styling, sorry, the same dynamic styling to the navigation form. Now, of course, this is not specified in the specifications, but we're going to do it anyway. So to apply this, we're going to head to the add active and remove active functions and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the same logic that we applied to achieve the static uh, sorry the dynamic styling to the sections okay so let's let's do a couple of experiments let's say I want a console log the current section that we are in today Let's refresh and let's see what section. Okay, over here we get the first section because we are currently viewing the first section. Scroll down a little bit and we see that we have the second section because we are currently reviewing the second section. Scroll down to the third section and we see that we have the third section. And the same happens to the fourth section. Now, what if we want to get this ID property? All we have to do is go to the section and hit dot ID. And let's see, I'm going to scroll up and hit refresh. And then scroll down again. And we see that we have the first section because we are currently viewing the first section, the second section because we are currently in the second section. And the same happens to the third section and the fourth section. Now, we want to get the number of the section, which is the one, two, three, and four. So what we're going to do is we're gonna slice the numbers out of the whole string. What we're going to do is we're going to say dot slice and what slice take is the start and the end of the string. Now I want to only get the numbers so I'm going to say slice from 7 to 8. And let's scroll up and refresh. Over here we get first because we're in the first section, then we get two, sorry, we get two because we're in the second section, we get three for the third section, and four for the fourth section. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to store it in a separate variable. I'm gonna call it section ID. That and I'm going to say minus one. And you can see why we took out one from here. Okay, so another experiment is let's say I want to get the navigation menu. So I'm going to output the entire navigation. Say here navigation, and if you guys remember, we already have a global variable with the navigation list stored in it. Now here. Go scroll up and hit refresh. And as soon as we are viewing a section, we get the entire menu. So, what if I want to get the child notes? So, let's say the child notes. I want to show you guys something. Child notes and scroll up. And here we see that we have we actually have a list of all the child notes. And it's sorry. And 
their index doesn't start from 1 to 4, it starts from 0. So the 0 is actually for the first section, the 1 is for the second section, the 2 is for the third section, and 3 is for the first section. That's why we chose here to take 1 from the ID. This is going to be our ID. So all we're going to do is I want to access the navigation link that is corresponding to whatever section I'm viewing right now. So I'm going to say dot, sorry, and I'm going to say section. I'm going to access this array by this index. Okay. And let's click refresh. And we see that we get the first link for the first section. We get the second link for the second section. Okay. So all, all I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the same here. I'm going to apply the same logic that we applied for the dynamic uh, section styling. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here. And I'm going to say style the class, just copy this and paste it here. Okay? And of course, we're going to add it to the remove active as well. And if you guys remember, here in the remove active, we applied the logic of whatever uh, section that we're going, we retrieved its original state. So instead of background color yellow, I'm going to retrieve it to its original state, with, which is background color of white. I'm going to say here white, and I'm going to hit refresh. Over here, the first link is highlighted since we are viewing the first section. Same goes for the second link, third link, and fourth link. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.